Happy New Year's, groupies. <coughs> I like that, groupies. Yeah, let's see, what time is it? Well, there was a lot of firecrackers, a lot of fireworks. You know, uh, 10 minutes before midnight, and even a few happening right now. Let's see what time it is. 12.45 a.m. Wow, it's now January 1st, 2024. Does it make any difference? No. Other than people, uh, uh, if they continue to be idiots or if they uh, choose to evolve and start uh, doing the right thing and caring about one another is what will matter. Otherwise, why say Happy New Year if everybody's going to be a fool and only care about themselves, you know, or to uh, be drunk? I'm sure a lot of people, you know, that are popping all these firecrackers, you know, it makes me think about uh, two things. First off, for me, I find it entertaining, actually. It's entertaining to me. I enjoy listening to it. You know, and most of the time I keep my front door open and I've got a screen type metal bar bar bars that I can see through it, you know, real well, you know. And it's a, it's a nice early morning, not whatever you want to call it. I've got my oscillator fan on. No, no heat turned on. Actually, it's perfect in here. I think it's about 65 degrees right now. But uh, standing by my front door, I figured I'll have my first cup of coffee for New Year's. Right now, it was about 12.01. Uh, I figured I'll have my first cup of coffee and just look outside at the world. You know, Mr. Dutton, it made me think back on a movie. I first saw it, I was a teenage boy. Let's see, that was in 1972. Okay, how old would I have been back then? I would have been 16. And I remember I went to a drive-in movie called The Pioneer Drive-In between Rising Star and Cross Plains, Texas. You know, that's when I lived, lived on our ranch as a teenager. Which from our ranch, let's see, nine miles, about 13 miles away. And I saw that movie, Poseidon Adventure, <laughs> with uh, Red Button, Shelly Winters, uh, okay, come on, Brian Moore, Gene Hackman, you know, he's a great actor, too. Red Button, um... Uh, Leslie Nelson, Ernest Borgnine, must don't forget him. Uh, he's like a second parent to me. Um, I, I, I've always loved that guy, man. I've always loved You know, he lived to be 99 years old, too. Um, let's see, who else? Stella Stevens? Yeah, I think it was Stella Stevens. I'm not sure if she's still with us or not. Oh, wow. Yeah, but those are some beautiful memories. And I remember in the movie Poseidon Adventure, it was a New Year's movie to where they had New Year's Eve before the ship turned over from a giant wave. And I remember Leslie Nielsen played the part as the ship's captain. And inside the, you know main room of the ship, you know, they were all doing the New Year thing, having drinks, and what's your New Year's resolution, all this, and uh, as they approached the tidal wave, uh, Leslie Nelson said to the other man, you know, that he had up there with him, he said, oh, by the way, Happy New Year's. <laughs> you, know, you know, that is very touching. I, I love that movie. And you can bet I have a copy of that. Well, I usually 
plug that in into DVD and watch it about once a year. It's good memories. It's good memories. It shows people through thick and thin and tragedy and, you know, how we have to accept things and move on. You know, it's good. And isn't that what life is? Isn't that what life is, people? I mean... Mother Panther Swirl, a panther cat that's been with me 12 years, was murdered by two dogs July 9th last year. God, I'm still not over the house. At least I've got two of her babies here, her panther kids. One's a boy, one's a girl. They're right here. They're right here. Yeah, they're getting big now big cats. I do love them. Uh, then my mother, she died November 11th last year, which has been almost two months. Oh, shit. You know, there's a lot of good mixed with some bad people. You know, it happens, but, you know, we need to carry on. We need to carry on. And remember the promises of our Savior, Jesus Christ, that told us after he arose after the third day. He said, any of you can do this also, and you can now have everlasting life. You know, after we die, we don't have to lay in the casket and wait for Jesus Christ to resurrect us. That's a fraud religion, people. After we die, we're immediately aware. We're spirits. We're immediately aware. Personally, I don't like the word soul because soul stands for the base of something, like the sole of your shoes or whatever. You know, and uh, I don't like the word of it, the soul of a person. A spirit is wholesome, all of us, all of us, you know. Not just a base entity, but all of us, the dominating entity, you know, which is who we are, our mind and our heart. That, that's your spirit right there, people. But, um, <coughs> you know, for a New Year's resolution, people, what you need to do, quit living lives to where you're not happy. If you're living a life where you have to do things you don't want to do, simply stop doing those things. You, you, you can. All you have to do is stop it. You know, and uh, live a life that you want to live. You know, and uh, stop doing what others do or feel that you're obligated to do certain things because of what other people. It's like... In my last video, I described how people are buying those big junk pickup trucks with all that garbage electronics. In my opinion, they're just making fools out of themselves. Because they'll look back at that later in their life, which won't be very long, what, eight years, ten years? And they're going to think, well, gosh damn, look at all that money I wasted that I could have now and all that shit. And it'll be sitting out there for them still. It's like, this doesn't work, that doesn't work, all this crap that doesn't work. And it's like, all that money. And they might even be driving a car they kept in backup or that was in the family that doesn't have all that. The thing still just get in and drive it. <laughs> you know? Oh, boy, but that's another subject, you know? But anyway, I'm still with us, and it's New Year, you know, but you never know when that may end. And, uh, yeah, you can plan on life. You, you can pretty much regulate your life based on your actions. And, um, but you never know what might become you. You never know. But you have to beware. Watch things that are in the making. You know, that could that they can become a reality if you're not careful. Uh, or whatever. But, um... Let's see, what else did I want to add here? 
Well, I know I'm wonderful and I look the brightest and all that stuff. <laughs> I love to make people laugh, you know. Happiness is the best medicine, people. Happiness, you know. And that's a good way to be. And people don't need to worry about things that don't matter. Don't worry about what uh, stu idiots like Trump and Biden do. Don't worry about shit like that, people. Because that's not going to matter. That stuff's all going to perish. You know, Jesus said that those things are only for a season. But that goodness, love, and all wisdom is eternal. The truth is eternal. All lies will be exposed, but then they shall perish and be destroyed with the creators and lovers of the lies, you know? Okay, what else? Oh, here's something I'm happy about. This is one of the best New Year's I've ever had. You know why? Because of my modesty, you notice I don't have to be somewhere. I didn't spend any money. I didn't chug a lot of the liquor or the booze. I'm not stuffing my face with a bunch of food, I don't know. But I'm pleasantly happy. Happy. I'm modest. I'm calm, you know. And I'm thinking about tomorrow after it becomes daylight. What, what do I want to do? Might go visit my friend Nick at the station he owns up the street. Might, maybe. Or I may just stay home. Depends on how I feel. See, I'm able to choose, you know. And, um, okay, I guess that's about it right now. I, I wish this panther boy cat was over. I'd just like to show how big and beautiful he's gotten. Come here. Uh, I know y'all hate it. Let me hold you up to the camera. Oh, they're all kind. Come on, come on. Come on. We all have to get in the limelight occasionally. Oh, look at how big he is. You know, he's getting heavy. This son of a gun, man, I'll tell you what, he's gotten big. I love, I love him. You know, there's two of them now. And I'll keep them forever. I don't know. I guess we'll all croak here together. But I hope we have a good uh, year together, all three of us. And Jesus Christ is our Savior, people. I love you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for uh, letting me be here for this year. Still being around and enjoying and loving life. Uh, later, for now, peoples. Later for now. Now let me find my map.